back. If you are new in this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Radclusive videos. In today's video, we are going to discuss the components of magnetic resonance imaging. MRI machines vary in both size and shape. The older designs had a more compact and small space and were very close. This affected the patients mentally and usually scared them even before they went in the examination. However, the engineers have tried to solve the problems by improving the machine to be more open and inviting. They have expanded the sides and included much more space in the scanner than the original models. The basic design of a magnetic resonance imaging scanner is the same in almost all machines. The scanner consists of a 24-inch wide tube, which the examination takes place. It also contains a magnet, a radiofrequency coil, region coils, patient table, and a computer system. The first component is the magnet. The magnet is the most important and biggest part of the MRI device. It is the magnet that allows the MRI machine to produce high-quality images. There is a horizontal tube that runs through the magnet and is called a bore. The magnet is extremely powerful and its strength is measured in either Tesla or Cox. Most MRI magnets use a magnetic field of 0.5 to 2.0 Tesla when the Earth's magnetic field is only 0.5 Cox. The magnetic field is produced by passing current through multiple coils that are inside the magnet resulting in a state of superconductivity, which produces a lot of energy by reducing the resistance in the wires to zero. There are three types of magnets used in MRI, the permanent magnets, the resistive or electromagnets, and the superconducting magnets. The first type of magnet is the permanent magnet. It is simple and cheap to run, extremely heavy and do not generate high fields. The early commercial magnets are made from ferrite in the 1930s and alloy gold al nico or aluminum, nickel, and cobalt was developed. A brick-like ceramics are the new material today. The magnetic field strength is 0.3 tesla. Magnetic field homogeneity is 50 to 100 ppm. Weight capacity is 90,000 kg, cooling system is not required, and the power consumption is 20 kW. The second type of magnet is the resistive magnet. These are electromagnets where in the magnetic field is generated by an electric current flowing through a coil. Magnetic field homogeneity is 10 to 150 ppm, weight approximately 4,000 kg, Cooling system used is water heat exchanger and the power consumption is 80 kilowatts. The third type of magnet is the superconducting magnet. It is made of materials with no electric resistance when placed at a temperature close to absolute zero. Niobium titanium.
of the body part being examined. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and click the notification bell for more Radclusive videos. Thank you!